Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Budapest in Hungary and today what we have for you are some things you should eat when you do come here to Budapest or Hungary in general because I do have a lot of really tasty things when you're here but before I get started in the food what you need to know is there's two kind of things you're gonna have a lot I mean a lot a lot like a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot when you're looking at Hungarian food one is paprika you know like peppers and paprika and stuff like that you're gonna have a ton of that and sour cream or some kind of cream so just know if i don't mention paprika and sour cream in some of these dishes that still doesn't mean they're not there it might still be there okay so i just want to give you that heads up first now obviously probably the most famous hungarian dish the one you probably have back at home occasionally is goulash and goulash is a meat and veggie stew with paprika uh-huh and then stuff like that and it's really really good the thing is though you can have it, you'll see it like at the tourist places, they'll have it in a bread bowl, like a soup, where you can have a bowl of it and stuff like that. Sometimes it is a soup, sometimes it'll come on a plate, like as a meal kind of stuff. So there are options for that, but that's kind of like the one, like I know Hungarian food, I know goulash, that's the thing. And the thing is here, it's way better than I've had anywhere else in the world. So you might have it other places, but this is the place to really have it, okay? And the thing is, when you're looking at eating here in Hungary, there are tons and tons of stews, there's tons and tons of soups and stuff like that. So if you want to have those, you can actually have a soup or a stew for a meal versus just as a starter, okay? So be ready for that. And another kind of soup that I think you should have when you're here is the fisherman soup. And what it is, it could be carp, it could be catfish, it could be a different kind of fish, and it's gonna be the local fish kind of stuff. And they make a soup out of that with, of course, the paprika stuff in there. You'll have that too. I mean, I've never really had too many red fish soups, but they do have that. And there's different versions of it as well. You can try the one I had yesterday had noodles in it and stuff like that. Other ones have little lamb dumplings and some just have the soup kind of stuff. But it is a nice, warm, hearty kind of thing. And the thing is, the food here is very hearty, okay? With the paprika and cream stuff, obviously with the cream and things, it will make it more hearty, but it's a lot of a, like meat kind of stuff, all right? Now, in terms of like some meat things you wanna have here, and of course, going with the paprika thing, there's chicken paprikash, or you might have veal paprikash, or you might have pork paprikash. Basically, chicken paprikash is chicken, so you might have like a leg and a thigh, or maybe you'll have a breast, or there's different kind of chicken they might put in there. I like the one with the leg and thigh myself, personally, and it's got this uh, paprika cream sauce on it, okay? And you eat that, oh my God, it is so good. I had the veal version of it last night, it was fantastic. My buddy had another version of it, where it was you know, pork with the paprika cream sauce, and you're gonna have that. So if you see any kind of meat, and it has paprikash after it, it's gonna be good, okay? But the thing is, again, paprika cream together those kind of things so you might be saying okay mark can we calm down with the paprika for now no i have another one i want to talk about it's that <laughs> and it's actually if you're looking at stuffed food there's stuffed cabbage and stuffed paprika and that's also a really nice thing it's so what they'll do is they'll stuff the cabbage they'll stuff the paprika usually with meat and rice and stuff like that or just meat and that's really good and if you want something that's stuffed with meat that's also really really tasty that might get you a little bit out of the paprika family you can actually get the pancakes here and when you order a traditional pancake here in hungary it's not like what you're thinking back in the u.s where it's a stack of pancakes with some maple syrup on it no it's more like a crepe and what they do is they fill the crepe so it'll be rolled up and the one i like the one we had i won't try to butcher the name i'll put it down here to show you the one i had it was filled with like a pork meat like pork minced meat and stuff in it oh my god it was so good like that's why here the meals are so filling that sometimes you just need an appetizer i mean i'm a big dude and i'm like whoo i'm pretty full after that but of course i still have my chicken paprika because it's so good uh so you do have that so those are kind of my favorite main courses the thing is when you're walking around if you've already had some of these big hearty meals you might not want another huge meal so you might want to just grab a snack and when they have these things called langos and what they are, I mean, I know I'm, pr I'm pronouncing it wrong because that's just the way it is here because Hungarian is really, really difficult. It's not like any language you've ever seen before, hence why I'm not even trying to say the words, okay? But these langos things, it's just a big thing of fried dough and you can have it plain or you can have it with like cheese on it or well, you have sour cream, get the sour cream, some cheese curds on there and stuff like that and have that. That's a nice way to have a savory version of it. The one I enjoyed, I had a sweet one that had the cheese, the sour cream, the cheese curds and some like jam on it. There's a lot of different versions of it and you'll see shops selling them all over town. It's like a snack thing, so you can grab that. That's a good one. Now those longos can actually work as a meal or maybe as a sweet snack if you wanna go that way for it. But I think probably the most important dessert to have when you're here, and you'll see it at like all the restaurants it seems like, there's actually a sponge cake dessert you'll have here. It's like a trifle, it's like layer of sponge cakes and cream and sponge cake. It is 
quite tasty. If you're gonna get something, I recommend getting that because that's like super traditional Hungarian. But probably the most important thing to finish off your meal when you're here in Hungary is having some palinka. And palinka is the local schnapps here, okay? And it can be made out of a lot of different fruits. We've had made out of plum, we've had apricot, we've had grape, we've had what else, pear was really good. Like we tried a lot last night. And the thing is, it's kind of a traditional thing. And when you have that heavy food, it might be a good idea to knock one back before you go because it helps with digestion and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not telling you to get hammered on them. I'm just saying it is something that you have that it really helps with the cream and all those kind of things out there because sometimes people's tummies have trouble with all that cream and all the meat kind of stuff. So having a palinka is really nice. And you might notice some of the locals might have one before they eat because it can work for like an aperitif or a digestive. So it's kind of a nice thing to have. So those are my favorite things to eat here in Budapest and drink. What are the things you think tourists should try when they come here? Do put in the comment section below so we can help people out. And a few things you should know about coming here to eat. Look, service is fine. Don't get me wrong, the people be friendly. They speak tons of English here, so you're not gonna have a problem with that. But I will say is don't expect fast service. It will take some time to get your menu. It will take some time to get them to realize you're ready to order. It will get time for them to actually come and take your order. And your food comes relatively quickly, but it just takes a long time for the service. It's not necessarily bad service, it's just slow service, so have a heads up for that. Also, when you're going out to eat here, you have 10, 15% on top of the bill. And if you pay with credit cards, a lot of times they don't give you a spot, there's nowhere to write a tip. So you leave the tip in cash on there. Also, you might see places that have tourist menus. I would recommend not going to the tourist menu place where they say, oh, we have a tourist menu. Just go to some of the other places, you'll be just fine. But also, I want to tell you, there are tons of Italian restaurants here. Like, it seems like there's more Italian restaurants than Hungarian restaurants. So make sure you take the time to find a Hungarian restaurant and eat there. Your hotel will gladly tell you a couple of good Hungarian places near your hotel for you to enjoy so you can have some of that goulash. You can have those pancakes. Oh my God, they're so good. And maybe a palinka or two along the way. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Have a great time here in Budapest or anywhere you're going in Hungary. And I know you won't be hungry in Hungary. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no one likes that joke here apparently, but whatever, I like it. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Have a great time here in Budapest. If you want to learn more, maybe the don'ts of visiting Budapest, maybe the five things you love and hate about Central Europe, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you hit that subscribe button, we put out a new travel video every Wednesday and Saturday so we can help other fellow travelers just like you enjoy traveling better. And we want to say a special shout out thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon who make travel videos like this possible. Without you, we couldn't be making these honest travel videos, so I want to say a big thank you. So if you want to help support us, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out how. Bye from Budapest.